Hey viewers, welcome to our indices series. Today's topic is on normalized difference turbidity index (NDTI). It is the index used to identify the turbidity in the water body. NDTI was calculated by using red and green bands. Values of NDTI generally varies from minus one to one. Satellite images used Landsat, Sentinel, and Modus. Bands used for calculating NDTI. So let's start. NDTI in QGIS. For calculating NDTI, we need band four and band three. So let's add the band three and band four satellite images. Now let's open the raster calculator and put the formula. Be careful while putting the formula. Now save to file. And okay. Our NDTI was calculated. You can see there is a negative value and the positive value. So now let's classify the image properties. Now let's classify the image properties. Single band pseudo color. Select the mode as equal interval and classes as three. If you want, you can change the labels. Here, the negative value indicates the water bodies in the area. and the positive value indicates the turbid water in the area Now apply OK. These are the clouds. Blue color represent the clear water, while the dark black color indicates the presence of turbidity in the water body. Now NDTI in ArcMap. First of all, again we have to add the band 3 and band 4 satellite images for the calculation of NDTI. So let's add first. Now in the search bar, search for raster calculator. Now open the raster calculator and put the formula. Save to file and OK. After the calculation of NDTI, we get a positive value and a negative value. Again, as we know, the positive value indicates the clear water while the negative value indicates the turbid water. So let's classify. Put the high value as turbid water and low value as clear water. Now I will select the color.
you can clearly identify that the blue patches indicates the clear water while the black patches in the water bodies indicates presence of turbidity in the water body this black patches here indicates the cloud coverage in this satellite image and this presence of turbidity in the water bodies by calculating this index we can identify the amount of turbidity in the water bodies